Well, this week we begin a new segment here on Oklahoma Horizon called Oklahoma Profile. In it, we want to introduce you to people, some famous, some unknown, that all have two things in common, an Oklahoma heritage and an undeniable drive for success in the face of adversity. And we begin with a man who has returned to his roots in agriculture after a career in some of the highest offices in the nation. From Wheat to Washington, Henry Bellman has seen it all, but he still knows where his roots lie. The two-time governor and two-time senator grew up in Billings, Oklahoma, on a farm his father homesteaded in 1897. Bellman never planned on getting too far from the farm when he attended college at Oklahoma A&M, but some things were just out of his control. I always wanted to be a farmer, and I didn't hesitate to enroll in agriculture when I had the chance and I finished up just as the war was starting so I didn't get to start farming until after the war was over but I've been farming ever since. During the war he served his country as a marine all over the Pacific, Saipan, Iwo Jima and it was during his time in the service that Bellman found a spark to ignite his interest in running for political office. Henry when he first decided to run, we all just thought, oh my goodness, you know, that couldn't possibly be. But the town really got behind him because we knew that he was a good man, honest, really a good moral person who would be a good representative of the common man in Oklahoma. There's something about growing up on a farm and making decisions for yourself that is attractive to industries and even in government where I spend a lot of my time. Belbin was first elected to the state house in 1946. He was elected the state's first Republican governor in 1962 and was elected to the U.S. Senate in 1968 where he stayed until returning home in 1980 and running for governor once again in 1986. Oklahoma has always had good leadership and good leadership in the Senate. I think Henry is the brightest star. All the time that he was in office he always did things that he thought was right, and he was willing to stand up for what he believed. His trademark policies included House Bill 1017 that increased teachers' wages and decreased class sizes. He expanded the Oklahoma Turnpike system and helped write the Farm Bill. But even as a U.S. Senator and two-time governor, Henry Bellman never really left the farm. He uh, is still a farmer and enjoys it, and we're all proud of farmers. Bellman has close to 1,800 acres of farmland where he produces wheat and raises cattle. And it's the values that Bellman learned on the farm that have stuck with him all his life. Honesty. Uh, stand by what you believe. Don't back down if you really believe it. And uh, a good moral life is what is needed in this country. At least those are some things that I think he always stood for. And represent the people that you were, vote, were voted in by. Represent those people. When you get to Washington, remember, you came from Oklahoma. Even in spite of the war I went through and the depression where I grew up, I'm very much optimistic about the future for young people. And I have to say I'm very impressed with the young people I see around college campuses and classes I've taught. I think that... Uh, most of, them, most of them have their heads screwed on right and they're headed in a good direction and that the country's going to be in good hands when this generation takes over. Henry Bellman, this week's Oklahoma Profile.